Hello and welcome back. And today we're going to be playing Hypnosis. Uh, don't look away from the screen now. I'm not necessarily going to hypnotize you. But that's essentially what Sleuth here is trying to do with what I imagine is a key witness. Hypnotize the witness supposedly helps with the recall. And uh, I guess can give a better testimony to help you actually understand where to go next. Uh, fingers crossed, this will be plenty of clues in today's hypnosis puzzle that will help us understand what is the next clue we need to solve. By the way, I've never really seen this done in anything outside of TV shows, so I don't know if that's entirely true. I do. I have read research that says hypnosis does help with recall, um, and I'm aware that it is a paid service that's available, but I don't know if police force have actually ever used it in real life. Anyhow, uh, enough of the introduction, let's take a look at today's puzzle and its rule sets. So, we're looking at Hypnosis by Willpower. And just before we take a look at the rules, um, as always from Willpower, very much the grid represents um, what is going on. So it's almost like a, a hypnotic symbol in the middle. And, it, you know, the reason I went with a pendulum and a medallion that, you know, Sleuth is actually using to hypnotize is exactly this shape. It's sort of like almost like a, a pendulum that's swinging back and forth with some sort of intricate design in the middle. Now, in terms of rules, we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. That means place the digits one to nine once each in every row, in every column, and in every three by three box. Then we have consecutive between lines. And we have featured these before from Willpower. So normally when you see these circles are connected with lines, and they're in between lines. And essentially, the digits, let's say this is 1 and 5 in here, the digits along the line have to be between these two ends, and it's not inclusive. However, in this particular case, Will is specifying that they have to be consecutive. So if that's a 1, for example, that would have to be 2, 3, 4, and 5. They are essentially, I mean, it's not even like a Thermor or Remban, they absolutely have to be consecutive and they're either going to be climbing or um, going down. And we're going to have to figure out which is which. Clearly, wherever we have the one here, it's actually going to continue. So that's something to bear in mind as you're trying to solve this particular puzzle. What else do we have? We have killer cages. So numbers in cages sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. For example, um, yeah. For example, this six cage here, if it's a two there, this would have to be four because these two cells have to add up to six. These two cells have to add up to four, 16, and 13. Uh, there was one more thing that uh, Will said as part of the consecutive in between lines in that numbers do not repeat. So I think the fact that they have to be consecutive feels fairly obvious to me. You know, you can't have do do something like this that doesn't work, it's got to be consecutive. And I'm guessing it doesn't have to go 1 through to 9. Let me just clarify that all numbers on 5 between lines, including the endpoints, are consecutive with their neighbors on the lines. So yeah, I think it's fair game to do something like this. No, no, well, anyway, that's the way I'm going to be playing it. So, only thing left to say is, well, if you don't feel like being hypnotized <laughs> with this particular puzzle and you want to sort of shake it all off link will be in the description down below as usual for you to play along and solve it and with that said i'm going to restart the clock see how i get on so there's a few cages like the four and the 16 where they're forced that's not hugely helpful. What I'm more interested in is what's happening in these consecutive between lines. In particular, I think, yeah, that's a nine cell between line. So we know it has to go from one and nine. The next two cells have to be two, eight. The next two cells have to be three, seven. The next two cells would have to be four and six. And then lastly, of course, the middle will always be a five. You can see in box five now, these three sevens are not down the column. They're in row five. And to complete box five, we need a second one line, whatever this cell is, somewhere in here with a five. Sorry, I'm a little bit under the weather, so I've got a strepsil in my mouth at the moment. 
hoping that you're not actually able to hear that and it's not annoying you or frustrating you. So I'm going to just think out loud for a second. Now, I think the 4 cage and the 16 cage are very deliberate. In particular, if you think about this cell, and the same is true actually for this cell, they can, this cell can actually see the entirety of this segment. You know, it sees it with normal Sudoku and in the same box. So you, you're fairly restricted about what you can place on this segment. And actually you're potentially even more restricted with the 7-9 because it can see all of these cells, that's seven of them that cannot be seven or nine. So that almost reads to me if I can somehow prove it. Yeah, it's, it doesn't have to be something like one. Let me just think about it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because obviously that could be a nine. I can actually have a straight run. But then, of course, I can actually avoid all of that challenge by having like an oscillating pattern. It can go one, two, three, four, five. And then four, three, that would break with the one, three. So this is very, very restricted. Right. Let's let's try a few examples here. I think that's the way forward. So this cell here could be this cell, but it can't be the blue one. So in the most extreme case, this could be the one, this could be the three, and I could start this pattern at three. And I could do something like three, four, five, six, and seven, which would make this nine and would make this seven. Interesting, but it is definitely a possibility. I guess I could do four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, but I can't do one more. And the reason is if I go five, six, that would be seven, eight, nine, including a seven and a nine, and it would break this cell. So that doesn't work. Now, I guess the reverse does. I could do something like 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. That does work. This is starting to become a little bit unwieldy with 6 and 5 in here. Hang on. Sorry. One of my samples doesn't work. The 4, 5, 6, 7 doesn't work because there's a 3, 7 pair looking at it. So that is not an option. Four, five, six, seven, eight is not an option. Right. Um, nine, eight, seven, six, five does look like an option. And again, it forces it to be nine, seven. The last option would be eight, seven, six, five, four. No, doesn't work because of the four, six pair. And then seven, six, five five, four, three, doesn't work because of the one, three. So yeah, it's one of these two options. Three, four, five, six. So whatever one it is, it is a six in here. And there's a five, seven pair, making this a three, making this a seven, and making this a nine, making this a seven. I am going to remove these colors. It's not needed. That's a, a way to get started. Now, if it is three, four, five, six, seven, that feels very strange. Obviously, I can't do eight, nine. I would have to go seven, six, five, where there's a conflict and it would break. So it's not three, four, five, six, seven. It is, in fact, nine, eight, seven, six, and five. And that's helpful. Well, I mean, for many reasons, that's a three, that's a seven. Uh, the fact that I placed a seven and I ignore the rest of the line tells you a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We now know these are a one, five pair. The nine is very helpful, of course, because that now has to descend. That's eight, seven, six, and five. Now it doesn't have to descend, does it? It does, because if I go, if I start climbing back up again, that would be six, that would be seven, and that would break this box. So this has to descend all the way, four, three, two, and one. And then obviously between one and five, it's got to be two, three, and four. That one helps us resolve that five, one. 
And we're not far off basically done on this puzzle. 13 cage and the 6 cage probably the next. 4 and 5, that can't be 4 or 5, that's 1, 2, with a 4, 5 down here. 13 cage, well it's not 4, 5, it could be 6 with a 7. It can't be 7, it can't be 8 because it would require a 5 and that would break, and it can't be 9. So this is actually forced, this is 6, 7. And I'm guessing we can probably do a ton of Sudoku now. So, yep, fours, for example, in box two. That's the four. That's the four in box one. Four is in one of two cells. Four of one is one of two cells. Yep, one of two cells again. And I'm guessing, yep, one of two cells again. What else do we have? Ones are not quite as prolific. Twos. Not really. Sixes. Yep, that's a six. Hmm. Six is in one of two cells in here. What about these? What about this row? What do I need to actually finish it? It's eight. It's two and eight, and this two gives me an order, and that's eight, and that's two. Do we have more twos? Probably. Two is down here. One, two is one of three places. I mean, the break-in was phenomenal, and then here I am just tripping up on the simplest of classic Sudoku. So four, five, eight, that can't be an eight or a four. That is a five. This is a four, eight pair. Complete this box. It's one, three, six. That's not a three, but one, three, six. That's not a three. This row is four, six. This column, I don't know why I didn't see that way earlier. This is 2, 8, I'm going to say. What about this box here, this row? So I need another 1, 2, then 8, 9. That is not 2 or 8. This is 1 or 9. This is not 1 or 8. This is 2 or 9. This is very unusual numbers here. No, I'm... It's probably more classic Sudoku that's sort of obvious that I am missing, such as sevens. Yep, so that's the only place for a seven. Rest of this row, let's just have a quick look. It's one, two, three, four. We need five, six, and eight. The eight can't be in here. That's the only place for an eight. This is now five, six. This is not the six. That's the six. That's the five. That's the four. That's the six. That's the four now. Uh, complete this, I need 2 and 3, not resolved, I can resolve this though, that's a 9, that 6 gives me a 1, 3, 6, uh, down here, 1, 2, 3, 4, four. I need 5 and 9, which is helpful because that gives me the 1, and a 3 to finish up here, that 1 gives me a 2, 4, that 4 gives me the 4 and 8, Five, nine are not resolved, but the two, nine is resolved. To complete the row, that was an eight. And what else do I need in here? That can't be an eight. That's a two. That's the eight. That is not a two. In fact, where does two go? Oh, it's in one of two places still. One, however, is not. That's two, therefore, and that's nine. That's a one. I need eight and nine. Eight here tells me that's the eight. That's the nine. That's five, that's nine. I need three and five, not resolved. I also need a one, which is not here. That's the one and seven, I'm gonna say. I need a two or three. That is not a three, that's two, that's three, that's two. Still not resolving the one, three, five. So I need another 135, which is not on this cell. This is whatever is left as a remainder. It's a 6. Then I need 1, 3, or 5. It is not 1 or 3. That's a 5. Therefore, that's 3. That's 5. That's 1. That's 3. 
and we're very much at the finish. That's seven, and if I've not made any mistakes, that's the nine for the solution for today's puzzle. Solve counter 101 in only nine hours, Mr. Willpower. Fantastic puzzle. Uh, almost hypnotic, you could say. Uh, we do have some of those consecutive between lines, so I am going to recommend these next if you enjoyed this. It, it, they, they play very unusually. It takes you a bit of time to sort of break in, but then suddenly you get huge wealth of information that you, you just don't know what to do with, with all of it. Uh, hope that you guys enjoyed the puzzle um, and the video, and see you back for the next one. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.